How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otoshin. This is another episode of The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and in today's episode, we are going to explore Mortar. Is that how it's called? Mortal. Mortal Combat. And. Yeah, this place is pretty creepy. Hides a secret. People are possessed, as you can see. I'm going to the Jarl. I don't even give a shit. I'm walking right in. It's funny how this place is shown as like one of the major locations. You know, like Whiterun has this like big symbol unique to itself with the horse on it. <clears throat> and then you have Mortal, which is like this shield with like wind. Solitude has a wolf on it. Dawnstar has this star. Uh, Winterhold has this like castle. Windhelm. I always get these two confused Winterhelm and Windhelm. Pretty easy to confuse. I mean, their names almost sound the exact fucking same. All right, seems like Jarl is fucking sleeping because it's midnight. Better wait a little bit. Showed up late at night in this place. I got a Mirinda over here. It's called Mirinda Orange. But now that I've, I've looked at it, I'm like orange. I don't fucking recall Mirinda coming with any other flavor than orange. I never fucking seen one at least. But I can imagine there being like lemon, grapefruit flavored stuff like that. It's pretty good. You're anyway, aren't you? You're what? Not like anyone else. Uh, not in what's up? Or Skyrim. Are you racist to me again? What the fuck is with the kids in this in this fucking country? It's just constantly people comment on my so, skin. Life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will what's with this music, soon. man? Welcome. It's like add it in the 10th anniversary edition. Some kind of trouble that I can take care of. That which can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Today Some is the last day of me recording Skyrim. Wizard, Next week I'll probably know him, not finish, but I'll record a bunch of Shovel Knight Time episodes. Will prove me right. Next weeks after that, I'm probably going to record Mortal Kombat X, which I promised that I would. Also, I think this week I'm gonna finally finish uploading the Tiny Tina Let's Play. And then who the fuck knows what I'll plan to record on summer as my summer specials. I don't know if you recall, but I do summer specials. And the difference between my normal Let's Plays and summer specials is that those specials, I usually play games that are very open-ended, so they don't really end. They don't have a concrete ending to them. Something like Minecraft. Or last year I played Terraria and Psychonauts 2. But Psychonauts 2 has an end, but it just happened to come out at summer, so that's why I did played it. And I don't remember what I played the year before. That's fucking been a long a lot of let's plays i don't i can't remember all of them all right what the fuck she said i wasn't even listening i stand where i have always stood here in <coughs> now okay. is not the time to fight amongst ourselves yeah, it's, i mean it's good it's a mirinda basically a fanta you guys ever drink a fanta they're pretty popular in germany from what i know i mean they're popular here where i live too but it's, i always see them in stock all my life i always seen fanta or now it's i don't know maybe they changed the name they stay next, next, stand next to Pepsi, so I'm assuming it's the same company. They always stand next to Pepsi and 7-Up. Okay, I thought you would have a little more to say. Being the Jarl of this place and all that. You will not disrespect Jarl Idgrad while in this hall. Do we have an understanding? Sorry, did I, did I fucking disrespect her? Why would I disrespect her? It's no secret that Jarl Idgrad is... Different. How she also different? No secret that there are rumors about She's her an old lady. That's it. Visions. I thought maybe she was an elf. I won't repeat them. And I don't I think there's a single yarl in this town that's an elf. Roof. Now you go about your business. Until next time. And I stood today in a fucking queue. Oh, you fucking said you don't stand with anybody in this war, but there's a fucking. It's an Imperial soldier just the hanging Legion's out. Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. What is the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? Not sure I understand the question. The Legion's always been in Skyrim. Well, I ain't never been, so I don't provinces of the Emperor. really know what's going on. Our mission is to serve the Emperor, uphold the law. It's kind of new here, to be honest. Citizen. Skyrim's days are darkening. And the Legion also, you know what I've been saying? Like I've been saying how I'm giving this series 80 episodes. Like, that's my estimated amount of episodes. But then I realized we're episode 22. That means we're one-fourth into the game, but I feel like I'm not even like one-tenth into the game. 
So I'm starting to think, you know what, I think this actually might be a let's play that will be a hundred fucking episodes long. To be honest, uh, Cyberpunk got pretty close to that. I think 96 episodes it took me to beat Skyrim. <clears throat> oh my throat. So I was staying in a fucking queue to a hairdresser for two fucking hours. <clears throat> and my throat fucking hurts. Been hurting for a while. Damn you, karaoke! I shouldn't have fucking joined. You with the Jarl. I'd ask that you speak to me first. No, oh, you you got any work? Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Perhaps it's one of those, you know, that have a secret thing going on, like like the bandit we fought last episode, where there was like a like a weird beacon in their camp, and it led me to a whole different mission. Uh, quiet place. That's huh? what many here wanted. Quiet life in a quiet place, without the noise or the trouble of a city. You might think every now town in Skyrim is as grand as Whiterun, where you walk in, there's walls surrounding the city, mm -hmm. there's like taverns, a castle on a hill, shit like that, right? The Greybeards have summoned the dragon. But not really, because uh, as you can see, Mortar looks more like how Riverwood looked like, but slightly bigger. The burned down house over here. What's going on in this fucking town? Some kind of a fire problem? It's fucking snow everywhere. What's with this burned down house? Strange. Strange indeed. I don't think it shows up until it's late. Ah, fuck. I should have gone here first. <coughs> I was already here during night. <coughs> My fucking throat, man. It's hard to make let's plays when it's fucking such a condition. Uh, I guess this town does have walls. What's up? Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world Follow me. used to make sense. Oh, he's the guy who I beat the shit out of last episode. That's right. He challenged me to a fist fight, and I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna." What's going on here? Have you seen my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. I think the better bridges in Skyrim mod kind of freaked out over here. Fucking better bridges my ass. What the fuck happened? It's a bridge on top of a bridge. This kid's fucked up confused. Doesn't know what the fuck to do. Can't blame him. Weather's really nice. Love weather like that, to be honest with you. Papa says that I shouldn't keep waiting. Why not? I live in such a place Mama where we have cold as fuck winters and hot as fuck summers, so... I mean, hot as fuck. It is pretty hot outside right now. I went out with, like... Long sleeved shirt, and I was fucking regretting that decision. I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna fucking pass out. Fucking hate summer, by the way. Plenty of reasons for me to, but uh, that's why I really like winter, because I get to put on big, comfy clothes. I don't fucking sweat like a pig. I believe there's a. There's a wizard living here or something? I don't know. What I should do, probably, is uh, wait for night time. Nice. You know what I watched recently? I watched Braveheart. I was kind of putting out, uh, putting that movie on hold because it's a really long movie, like three hours long, and I was like, what I don't have three hours to spend watching fucking Among Us. I don't have, like time to watch that but finally yesterday I sit down I was like ah oh, fuck it I might as well mm -hmm. just watch it till midnight <coughs> I'm staying up late anyway all the time what's going on what is with this place I'm better get inside and find out is it not late enough where's the ghost hello ghostly apparitions what, it's not fucking light enough? La 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 la, man. Isn't it lovely in this fucking town where are the ghosts? Look, guys. Pretty much everybody fucking knows who played this game that when you get to Mortar, the coolest thing about this place is that there's a quest line where there's a ghost of a little girl over here and she tells you like, oh, my dad burned down the house or some shit. And we died inside. So why isn't it working for crying out loud? 
I also know that there's a graveyard somewhere around here. Maybe that fucking does it? I think it's outside. Pretty sure this is it. Is it grave robin time? I don't think I get to interact with any of the graves until I completed the mission. Lady, I saw any ghosts? Why didn't you follow me? I don't fucking know what's going on with this fucking place. How about another hour? Did to wait until it's very fucking late? Did my mods broke something else besides the bridge? Ghost? Phantom apparitions? No? The fuck's going on? I got a... Bounty, don't I? Which fucking one is it again? I guess I don't have a bounty, so what do I have? I have a quest. They told me to go clear out a bandit camp. Let's read a fragment of Ultrad. I guess that's a miscellaneous quest. Alright, now where's that? It's over there. Okay, fast travel. Perhaps if I continue... If I do them a favor... What up, Baruch? You know, I decided, fuck it, this, this horse is Baruch. Man, it's dark out here. Can't see anything. Jesus Christ, I almost fell to my death. This is dangerous. Also, the marker showing me, it shows that the camp, like, the, what I need to do is clear out a camp, but it doesn't tell me to go inside anywhere. Because the inside is the arrow with a square on, underneath it. This one's just an arrow. So I'm assuming... This bandit camp must be pretty small. Alright, perhaps if I clear it out, then they will, like, trust me enough to tell me about the horrible things that happened recently, and then I'll be like, oh, really? Well, maybe I can help. can't see shit, but I don't care. I have the element of surprise. They wouldn't accept a, ex, expect a psycho like me to show up at fucking midnight, attack him. My weapon. Oh yeah, I unequip my weapons. Where are you? What up? Lost. You know what I realized while I was decapitating this many fucking enemies in this game? How did this game begin? That's right. Oh my god. Yes, have a wizard. All right. First of all, fuck you for having a wizard. Shit sucks and it's unfair. Bandit fog shooting fucking miscellaneous projectiles at me. Bitch. Died. How did this game begin, guys? It began with me about to get decapitated. Okay, this guy's tough. I'm underestimated these guys. So I'll admit. To my mistakes, all right. Not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. And I was wrong this time around. And you guys are fucking annoying. Oh, who killed? Died of a heart attack. He saw his friend, best friend, die in front of him. Ah, oh, cool place you guys got. Got a nice little bridge. Very cute. Don't know why I opened. You know what? I fucking hate this shit. I can't see anything. It's raining. It's kind of a horrible weather that I picked to fucking explore Skyrim. So what exactly did I open? Oh. Hey, what's up? Haven't seen you in a while, dead guy. <laughs> She's so, like mildly annoyed about the fact that I murdered her friends. 
this? Oh, it's a trap I triggered. I thought I opened something important. Come on, Lydia, you can do it. Help you out. Ah, oh, Lydia takes no prisoners. I think I get fucking bitch out of a fight by submitting. I don't even know what that means. Now ah, you're naked. Good riddance. <coughs> yeah, this wasn't one of those camps that actually turns out to have some important shit going on. Unless I do find something. What if I missed that obelisk? I mean, that uh, beacon that I found last episode. What if I just like not notice that there's a chest? Oh, Keto Robert's Cove. Ah, there's a... Uh, there's more to this place than I thought. Better be interesting. I hate that I spent oh. so many potions on this fight. Oh, fine, like the fucking rain stopped. It's like I... It's like I had some kind of a white noise going on inside my ears and now it's gone. I feel so much better. Oh, fishy. Fishy fish. Ain't this place lovely, Lydia? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't want to pick that up. An open chest. Bandit leader journal. I'm taking it. I don't know why, but I am. Some shitty dagger. This place is... Alright, more underwhelming than I thought it would be. Can I use a boat? I can't. Where does this lead to? Skyrim. Where's that? Is there a saying I could have attacked him by surprise? By sneaking in from this way? Alright. I could have done that, but I didn't. Man, you guys are carrying a lot of money. 100 gold? That's a lot. What's up with these arrows? Why can't I pick up arrows anymore? It's always glitching out, doing something weird. It's the guy who got a heart attack. Oh, he was a Khajiit. Perhaps Khajiits just die of old age at the age of 20. I don't know. It's over here. Yeah, so, what the fuck I was saying? And then I got completely sidetracked. I was saying that I was supposed to get decapitated at the end of the at the beginning of the game. And what have I been doing this entire fucking playthrough? Decapitating other people. I just realized that like yesterday and I was like, that's kind of ironic. They wanted to decapitate me and now I'm just going around Skyrim cutting people heads off. And it's still like I'm cutting them off on purpose because I don't have a button to cut their heads off. When I just simply fucking attack them and I have this mod that increased my chance of doing cool finishers and it just so happens that double-handed axes I guess have only one type of finisher which is the one where you just kind of stab I mean cut the people if you heads business off. With the Jarl, I'd ask Excellent. I killed them you've done us a great service here's your reward and killed everybody else what was the argument outside the hall ah you saw that did you Life I didn't I don't remember what you're talking about the to people be honest. are uncertain restless Nearly looked to the hour of leadership. Is there a ghost possibly? What's going what's gone wrong in Mortal? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. And then the tragedy with Rogar's home. Now I have to investigate. Everything will be fine. Can I investigate? Until next time. Hey, what's going on? What happened to the burned down house? He lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. Daughter, you say, My huh? people believe it to be cursed now. Yes, yes, yes. Who am I to gain, say Investigation them? time. Investigation. Krogar blames his wife for spilling What does Krogar say happen? Many folk think he set the fire himself. With his own wife and child Lust inside? Can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still oh, I know something about that. One time I went to rent a book out of Lo no, never mind. This is completely fucking stupid. <laughs> so we have an 
arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Ooh, I'm a private Simply investigator. PIGVB. Magnum PI. You ever watched Magnum PI? Not the new one, the old one. Uh, alright. Investigation. Modification. Rock your microphone. Let's fucking go, Lydia. Let's go, Lieutenant. Heard there I don't look like Columbo. Gods, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Do I? The dragon has attacked White Run. How could mere men bring down such a beast? I did it. You know what? What that sucks about that fight? It's it always sucks when some stupid guard gets the last hit, and it's like, oh man, you undermined my fucking achievement so fucking much. Thankfully, it didn't happen this time around. Hmm. Fire. Don't see anything strange. Do you see anything weird, Lydia? I can't possibly see anything weird. What the fuck? Who's there? Is that you, Father? Yes. <laughs> you look different than the other ghosts I've seen. Helgi, but Father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you I'm not a stranger? stranger. I'm a weirdo, not a stranger, though. No, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. Cause you're what dead. You will you play with me? Fuck yeah. If I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. The other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. You mean Lydia? You can find me first. I can I think Lydia's coming out during the day too. Actually, where is she? Oh fuck, maybe she was talking about Lydia. Where did she fucking go? I can never fucking tell the time properly. Is this late enough? No, it's like evening. Oh, Lydia, you came out at night. You are the other one. There you go, midnight time. Now we gotta find. Okay, maybe one more hour. We gotta find the little girl ghost. And I think she's at the cemetery. Who are you? Wow. A vampire? Well, I'm very sorry, but what the fuck? Lalette the vampire. Bitch. Ooh, vampire armor. Dope. <laughs> nice. What the fuck? They were digging up a grave. I've been here just a moment. I've been here the fucking at the beginning of the episode, and this wasn't dug up. You Child's found me. coffin. Lalette was trying to find me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. Yeah, she'll be she looking for her head now. Forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Layla thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. Alright, goodbye, little child. Lydia, what the fuck's going on? Let's get out of here. Who's fucking coming over? Eh. Fucking blind or something? Bro. Laylet. She's dead. He's she's weird. fine too. She's she's a vampire. She might be fine, but she's dead. She's dead. Laylet is dead. What can you tell me about your wife? Laylet. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh. My poor Laylet. Yeah, I mean I might I feel about it, I could have not decapitated her. You know anything strange before she, she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva, Alva. told me later that she mm, never showed up. one more thing. I never got to tell her goodbye. Just one more thing. Who's Alva? You think Alva? But that means, ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? 
I don't know. I'm a werewolf. Anything no, can happen. You're wrong. You must be wrong. This is the quest where you can May accidentally turn into a vampire. In so I guess it's a cool thing I that I'm a werewolf already because I don't do think you this. can become a vampire no when you're a werewolf. You prove it to the Jarl. I hope and I'll I know what you're thinking. What you think. Will I side with the vampires during the Dawnguard DLC? Well, I think I will because that's much more interesting than not siding with the vampires. Even though I always did want to side with the vampire hunters and see how that plays out. Now I think about it, I could easily do a playthrough of that DLC where I side with the vampire hunters, then reload the safe file and side with the vampires and, and just see both sides. But no, I don't want to do that. Skyrim will probably be the only game where DLC is, like, the length of a normal game. You know what I'm saying? Like, the DLC would take me, like, 30 episodes or something. Eh. Alright, I, I won't be an asshole. I don't have a fucking... Investi- I, I'm not a real detective. I'm a private investigator. I can't just barge into people's houses. Alright, bitch, I'm coming in. I fucking joked about that. I'm Colombo, GCB, PI. What, her lock changed all of a sudden? What the fuck? Yeah, it did. You saw that? Her lock was at first. That's strange. I didn't quit. I didn't press anything. What was I talking about? That I was in a queue for so fucking long? Ow, Jesus. Roger, chill the fuck out. I don't even know who you are. Well, that's that, I guess. Might as well steal their shit. <laughs> that's Kroger, I thought that was a wine bottle. Ooh, jug of milk. Kroger, what are you doing in Alva's house? And also, who are you? Oh, he's the guy who burned the house. That's right. Wait. Oh, I thought the... I guess I did drink the milk? I thought the milk was a potion for some reason. Immortal Blood, my favorite book. Speaking of books, I actually finished another chapter of Witcher. I'm starting to think I'm reading these books out of order because stuff that happens in this book is stuff that actually gets referenced in the Sword of Destiny. But I'm pretty sure Sword of Destiny came first, so I guess the books were written out of order. They weren't written in like a continuous story. That's how Witcher originated as a bunch of like standalone stories. Alright, this is start the plot thickens guys. There's a strange path leading downwards. You'd think it's just a simple basement in this case called the cellar for some reason. Hey Alva, what's up? Uh, Lydia, what the fuck? I was gonna uh, speak to her. Uh, what is she, Dracula? Sleeps in a coffin. Has ever slept in a coffin? Then you cannot judge vampires. Maybe it's actually really comfy. Alright, I feel like... Jarl of Mortal might want to hear that there's a... Secret fucking underground society of vampires. And that fucking... And that... I killed Kroger. That's his name? Kroger, yeah. And that the whole rebellion they were talking about is probably the least of their problems. They got a fucking vampire infestation going on. People jumping in water. That's the wizard I was talking about. This town is all kinds of fucked up. I don't know if what's going on. you stand before me to accuse me of sacrificing children or eating the hearts of the dead, you may save your breath! I have done no such thing, nor you made do I intend there? to. I simply wish to live my life in peace! Well, Jesus, okay. So then what do you do? I keep to myself. I see a wizard, don't want to speak to you. Spells and scrolls to those who need them, and wisdom in conjuration magic for those who wish to learn. Beyond that, I seek only to be left alone to pursue my research. Okay. Why, why live here then? Anyone will tell you in this bigotry-filled town. Place. My talents are useful here. I help maintain order, even if it goes unnoticed. You could have done us some kind of a vampire detection spell. Cause... All right then. Holy shit! 
And what's up with you, Arika? Yes, take a look. Seems that I think I killed like most of the population of this fucking town by accident. How many people did I kill? I killed a vampire lady who lived here. I don't want to sell this stuff. I want to sell like this shit. Elven armor I'm keeping. Illusion spells. You know what? I might sell this one. I thought I had two of these. Well, it's the useless bullshit I'm carrying in my fucking pocket. In my cutesy little backpack. Amethyst ring, silver swords. Can't believe I still fucking had these in my equipment. I thought I sold those. This armor that I'm keeping. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Eight. Vampires, vampires. 30 minutes. As if Skyrim didn't have really? enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. Hammerfell? Where? Well, I guess this is the end of the episode. I thought this episode wasn't getting all that long. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.